Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 182. Um, guys, happy uh, Happy New Year's Eve. I hope you guys are about to go celebrate responsibly. Um, I figured that coming into today, New Year's Eve, not a better time to talk about goal setting than on uh, the day before all of our New Year's resolutions will start. You know, we're, as a society, especially America, are, are really big on this, like, oh, New Year's Eve, start the year off new and all that stuff, and uh, and we make these goals. We don't really know why we're making these goals or how to obtain these goals. So I got a little idea here, and uh, this is not something I obviously made up of, but it's called SMART goals. It's a, it's a tactic, tactic, sorry, not a tactic, a tactic of how we can help make these goals uh, stick, more achievable, right? And the way we do them is we write these goals down so that they're specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-sensitive goals, right? That's what we're trying to do. And we want them to be specific to our topics, right? We want them to be measurable so that way we can look back and say, okay, well, in a quarter of a year, I'm here. How can I redirect myself and make this goal achievable, right? And then, how is it relevant? So. I have two different lists here. I have one for my personal athletic list, and I have one for my for my wad doc list, right? And then we have to make them uh, we have to make them time sensitive. They have to have a means to an end, a deadline, so to speak. You know, when uh, when we went to school, I used to always bitch and complain about man, I had all these papers do it all on time, right? And then all of a sudden, I woke up and I was in the real world, and I realized I had to make my own deadlines, and I had to make my own like fake papers that were due. Nobody came and said, "Hey, Tim, you know." Let's get that paper done, but I need to have it done for whatever I was trying to do uh, in, in life, that, that goal, right? So, so here's, a, here's a way of doing that, right? And why are, is making SMART goals important? SMART goals are important because it makes them achievable or accountable, right? We make some, it makes us accountable for these goals, all right? A long time ago, somebody said to me that a goal that's not written down is not a goal at all, right? He said that you could say it to yourself all you want, but unless you can write it down, look at it like you're looking at yourself in the mirror and say that you can complete these goals and you can devise a plan, a tactic to complete these goals, it's not a true goal. So I figured there wasn't a better way to make myself accountable than to write my goals down, both for WADOC and both my athletic goals, and, uh, and make myself accountable to all you guys out there, right? So my first little set we'll talk about is WADOC. These are my my goals I would like to have. First and foremost, I want WAD, uh, I want the Project 365. That's the project that we're currently doing now, and technically we're about halfway through right this second, or I guess right tomorrow second, right? Um, that's a, that's number one. My my number one priority. Continue every single day. For, uh, until Project 365 is complete. My second goal of this year is to is to accumulate another 15,000 followers. I have 5,000 currently. I'd like to finish up with 20,000 Instagram followers by uh, by next year by finishing up in 2015. And I want to average 350 website views onto www.www.www.thewaddoc.com. Um, that's something that that's that's a these are personal waddoc goals that I want. And of course. Um, totally irrelevant so relevant will be a different list I have five goals on this one but it's because it's broken up a little bit differently these are my personal goals athletic goals totally irrelevant to WADOC uh, but these are things I want to do they're based off of, of, off of goals that I either hit or did not hit this year uh, and it's a 330 clean jerk a 265 snatch a 300 overhead squat 30 unbroken muscle ups and 20 minute 5k now guys I actually have this list in my wallet, and I look at it all the time when I when I go to pull out uh, bills from my wallet, or nowadays we just use credit cards. But either way, they're there because they constantly remind me of what I'm have to do. They constantly keep my my compass focused, so to speak, right? So, guys, these are my goals. What are yours? Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. Happy New Year.